The grasshoppers in Sri Lanka represent a fascinating aspect of the island's diverse insect population. Sri Lanka, being a tropical paradise, boasts a rich variety of flora and fauna, and grasshoppers are no exception. These insects belong to the suborder Califera within the order Orthoptera, which includes locusts as well. Grasshoppers are known for their characteristic hopping ability, powerful hind legs and distinctively shaped bodies. In Sri Lanka, grasshoppers can be found in various habitats ranging from lush rainforests to urban gardens. Their presence is often most noticeable during the wet season when vegetation is abundant, providing ample food sources for both nymphs and adults. Grasshoppers play a crucial role in the ecosystem as herbivores, feeding on a wide range of plants and contributing to nutrient cycling and plant diversity. One of the most striking features of grasshoppers is their incredible diversity in terms of size, shape and coloration. Sri Lanka is home to numerous species of grasshoppers, each with its own unique appearance. Some species exhibit vibrant colors such as green, yellow, or red, while others may camouflage themselves with earthy tones to blend into their surroundings and evade predators. The anatomy of a grasshopper is finely adapted to its lifestyle. Their elongated bodies are divided into three main parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. The head houses complex sensory organs, such as compound eyes, antennae for detecting chemical cues, and mouth parts specialized for chewing plant material. The thorax is where the powerful hind legs are attached, enabling the grasshopper to leap great distances to escape predators or search for food. Additionally, grasshoppers possess wings, allowing them to fly if necessary, although they primarily rely on hopping as their primary mode of locomotion. Life cycle-wise, grasshoppers undergo incomplete metamorphosis, meaning they go through three stages, egg, nymph, and adult. Female grasshoppers lay their eggs in the soil or on vegetation, and after a period of incubation, nymphs hatch out. Nymphs resemble miniature versions of adults, but lack fully developed wings. As they grow, nymphs molt several times, shedding their exoskeletons to accommodate their increasing size. Eventually, they reach adulthood, at which point they become sexually mature and capable of reproduction. Grasshoppers are not without their challenges. While they play an essential ecological role, they can also be considered agricultural pests when their populations swell, causing damage to crops and vegetation. Farmers often employ various methods to control grasshopper populations, including biological control agents, pesticides, and cultural practices. Overall, grasshoppers in Sri Lanka are a captivating component of the island's biodiversity. From their diverse array of species to their unique adaptations and ecological significance, these insects offer valuable insights into the intricate workings of the island's ecosystems. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting content. See you in the next video.